So how do we create quickly without losing our minds? Well, the inner critic, our inner critic tends to stop us. What's your inner critic? Your inner critic is that part of you, that voice in you that says you're not smart enough, you're not creative enough, you're just not good enough to do the thing. In this case, be creative and create quickly. Well, the inner critic tends to connect with outcomes, right? The outcome, what ends up at the end of the day. But that's not really helpful when you're trying to create quickly. It reminds me of a story about a sales manager. This is a famous story. The sales manager says to his team, go out there and get, talk to as many prospects as possible. And I'm going to give a bonus to the person who comes back with 100 no's. And the team is like, what are you even talking about? Why would you give us extra money for getting all those no's? And he says, well, that's because if you get 100 no's, you're guaranteed to get a bunch of great big yeses. And the same thing is true with our creativity. We can crank out 100 ideas. Most of them are going to be crap. And that's okay because some of them are going to be gold. So just crank them out and assume that a lot of your ideas are going to be throwaway. So I've got a mission for you after you're done watching this video, like actually do this. Okay. Take a piece of paper and a pen and write something, draw something, whatever, for one minute, one minute only go as quickly as you can. And then when you're done, just take your drawing and rip this thing up and toss it because guess what? It's part of the flow. It's part of creating quickly.